folks, Fat Guy Flies RC out here at the wonderful Avon Park Aero Mod Club. You can see the addition that the wonderful Aero uh, the club members have added. That, that all, whole new awning there. There's my truck and all that awning right there. And that's the, the metal parts, the original club. And we're going to be extending that all the way to the end down there. So everyone will have a nice covered place to fly them, to work on their models when they're not flying. I'm going to take up the uh, X Fly swift 2100 right left up down right left take off flaps landing flaps flaps up all right we'll take, take our takeoff flaps. flaps and i swapped out i kept the original 40 amp esc um with the 64 um edf on the top but i noticed that 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 original edf kind of really i mean the, the original uh, uh esc really got warm at the end of the flight um so i've actually had an older 80 amp with an xt60 connection and i put that in there it's overkill but we're gonna kind of a remade on that and see if that doesn't kind of help keep it a little cooler and i got in a better spot to get better cooling so but i tell you what this is a great flying plane right here now And she definitely wakes up on that with that 64. I'm running a 3300. Got a flasher on the belly of it, up towards the nose. She wakes up with that 64. Now the little 55 uh, EDF that you could put in there was okay, but it's like she struggled too bad. To me, this 64 is really the cat's meow. Run a 3300 Sokokan 4S with an ADC. Now the whole point is not to run all the time. The point is to get her up high, power on up there, turn off the motor, and then just enjoy the flight. Run an XT, a uh, Spectrum AR620. <laughs> Boy, that's fun. Just a different kind of flying all the way around. Landing flaps. Flaps up. Let's see if we can't land or not. Landing flaps.
All right. Make sure your hatch is secure. Okay, get it turned around here. Now I've got that nacelle just hot glued in. Take off flaps. All right. Now you can kind of help with taking off on the ground because you got that roller. You kind of have to work your kind of to work your ailerons and your rudder a little bit to keep you going straight. But she'll you'll get the feel of it. She's not hard at all to take off. Not hard at all. And not hard to land, really. Just don't be in a big hurry. Love that sound. That 64 sounds so good in this plane. Landing flaps. I do have to hold in with landing flaps a little bit down elevator she does want to lift but that's sort of the reason for this thing to get her up off the ground pretty quick because you're really low to the ground so i don't work in a mix Trial land or no flaps this time. I see she's coming in much hotter. Good looking plane too. All right. All right, well we uh, flew for almost four minutes. Oh, I don't have my throttle cut to where I want it. Make sure you put your throttle cut down to 120%. Forgot to do that. New, e new ESC, so. All right, let me show you where I've got everything. I got the 80 amp ESC up top. And ah, she's pretty warm. She is warm right up in there. I can barely keep my finger on her. Yeah, she's pretty warm. So it really is hard to get in good cooling. The only cooling port is that right there. And I might have to move the SC, but I, but I hate keeping it underneath the battery, though. Um, but the whole point of this plane is to get her up high and then just let her glide, not to keep running that motor. So, And of all things, this motor has, um, I think it has, no, it doesn't. No, the SC does not have reversing. Um, let's just check the motor. Anyways, that's where I've got the uh, 3300 Sokokan. Got an AR620. Okay, yeah, the plane doesn't necessarily have very good cooling, but there again, it's not meant to, uh... okay, 30%, so I definitely don't want to go up again. All right, so four minutes running her. 
um like i said it's a 3300 i usually run a 2700 in there but i just had wind today so i want to give her good penetration just a good flying plane i've never flown a lot of people ask me if i've flown her with a motor on and i have with the regular prop but i never have i've only flown her with the the, the 55 uh, millimeter edf and then this 64 that's the way to go however when you get the motor when you get the plane the motor's already in there leave the motor in there leave that motor in there you'll see i've got the motor still in there and because that helps with your cg otherwise you got to put a bunch of weight in the nose because now your motor's back here so yeah so anyways there you go folks that is the x fly 2100 swift great fly little jet glider a lot of fun you can saw it's just a real enjoyable plane non-threatening ar620 is all i've got in there you don't need a gyro and just a good looking plane all right folks y'all have a good one don't forget to like and subscribe god bless y'all and banana hobby um i know I, I you didn't send me out this plane i actually got this one i think uh, from bitco um well you know what i don't even remember now maybe i did buy it from you but i bought it so anyways that's where you can get it now you can get it now at banana hobby so there'll be a link in the uh, prescri uh description of this video for it and uh, also you can get that edf unit on there i think the edf unit's like 39 or 49 dollars and the plane itself is like 199 so anyways there you go all right folks y'all have a good and god bless y'all and don't forget stay family and friends and then jet powered gliders